Hello, I'm Stumpy. Right, I'm back. Uh, I haven't been well. I had man flu for the last, you know, three weeks. Yeah, I've been alright for the last couple of weeks, but I've still got a groggy throat and stuff. But <clears throat> I've decided to play through this. Uh, this got finished about five weeks ago, but I've only just been bothered to, like, play through and talk through it so yeah this is old witch which is the station level after um thames wharf which is in london the thames the, the london levels so let's go this is just a little area to look like the last the end of the last level it's only a little tiny area just to right so slide down here now this room isn't in Tomb Raider, this is just my room to uh, travel back or do whatever you need to do. Now we've got the level five secrets. Now this thing is my new uh, secret mechanism. I used to have like a thing that filled up with water and it'd drop a bot, I'd take a chest up in the water, and it was a bit rubbish. So I've made this. This is pixel art. I might try and show you that at the end of the level. Um, it's made. It's absolutely huge, but I'll show you that at the end of the level as a treat <laughs> if you stay that long. Right. So this is my new animated. Hopefully, it was glitching a bit. That's just the uh, name of the pixel art. It was glitching a bit. Well, I played through this this about six times, and I found about well, fifteen mistakes, then ten, then. And I've played through it six times, and the final time I found one mistake, so it should be okay. I've played through six times. Probably one reason why it took me this long to play it again. I've played through six times in like a couple of days. Right, so... Here we go. Yeah, it seems to be working okay. It was glitching the other day. And it lights up all the... Lift a little bit there and then throws you out a prize. There you go. So that's my new little mechanism there. Right. Oh, that's the tag. I've got a bow, but I'm going to take it. I'm not sure if there's anything in, it, in this to kill. Can't remember if I've put anything in this to kill or not. But, um, Oh, but you do need the bow to uh, to right. Yeah, I need the bow. Right, so that's that. Let's get going. Um, so this once you drop through the bell tower, and then it, it tells you like all your level stuff in Tomb Raider. Thing, you just drop straight. You, the next level, you're just straight dropping. So it's like whoa, it's a shock. But here you've got a bit of time to look down, and so we'll drop down and we push forward and we cling onto. That. Oh. Yeah, some of the chests might be empty. <laughs> so we drop into the water. I've got my new um, drop mechanism on this as well. So if you drop any more than eight blocks, you'll die. I've updated it a little bit as well. There's less blocks in it now, like I said in the other video. Oh dear. Right, so that's like a fence in Tomb Raider, but I've used ladders because you'll see why in a second. But if I come up here... We've got this ticket. I haven't put anything in. I should have put some health in some actually because I might need a bit of health. Th this ticket office here. But we've got that area as well. That's near the end. It's very long this level. I'm going to apologize right now for it being so long. But I use ladders here because I'm able to do that and make it look like it smashes. And this means new respawn points. Right, I will use the flares. I might have put something in these ones. Yeah. Please help. Saying that, I'm saying please help. I haven't even put myself in two. Game mode A, there we go. Don't want to be cheating now, do I? Right, so there's the ticket office down there. 
we've got that area there so we drop back into the ticket office a uh, ticket will appear in machine after purchase that's a penny by the way don't say it's not um so if we jump up here and over here we cannot get up there until we let's put the flare back on again so we can see pull this block and now that has made the ladder all the way so we can get up here some help that's good and here we have maintenance key right that's our first key no I don't want to put that on it makes your character look silly if I was if I had enemies I would right so we've come into this little office here open the doors Right, as I say, that's back down to where we were. There's that area that that's cool through that area. Oh, I loved. I I dreaded making this this level. Absolutely dreaded it. But I absolutely loved making it. Right, I always get this wrong because I haven't played it for a, a few weeks. Is it this one or that one? Oh no, it's the other one. Anyway. So we've got down the oh, I need to go down the other one. There's me new old witch signs. I only made them uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're, they're pixel art as well. Um, but we don't need to come down here yet. Uh, I always get them mixed up. Let's go back the other way. I'm back down this one. I need to try and not waste as much time. I've only just stuck them pictures up as well as posters because they've added loads more little pictures. So otherwise, it'd just been repeating the same pictures over and over. There are a couple of the same, like, but. And we come to here. So jump across first. And here we can see. Not much because it's very dark, but I don't want to put my flare on yet because I just want to show you this. I've only just put this in actually a few weeks ago when I finished that. I wasn't going to bother putting it in. I thought, no, I'll put it in. So if you come across here in Tomb Raider, you get that. You get the train that goes underneath. So I wasn't going to put it in. I wasn't going to bother because it's too much work. And I thought, no, I've, I've, I've got to be... So if I stay here for 30, 40 seconds, it'll come back again. Um, so I'll just stay here just so you, you see it again. It, it's like on a, on a timer. But once you leave this bridge, it'll never come back again. It's only when you're on this bridge, the, tra <laughs> the train will get it. The, the sound ends a bit quick, actually. Um, so I still don't want to put the light on just yet, but I'll show you if you try, like just like in Tomb Raider, if you try and go down, you will get hit by a train. <laughs> this this video is going to be so long because I'm going to show everything. <clears throat> you will get hit by trains. Let's see if we can see this one a little bit better. It comes a bit. Just like in Tomb Raider. Right, let's get across here. So it's very dark, but we've got the key for this maintenance room here. And again, I don't want to put the flares on because it'll spoil the effect that is about to come up. And. It's a penny. It's not a. So we switched all the lights on now. It's not a cookie or a biscuit. 
it's a penny. Look, see, it says old penny. Right, so yeah, so now he's turned on the Alecky. I'll go back up here again, the chain still comes even though the lights are on. <laughs> um, right, so now I need to go back. Do I need to go up with the penny first or will I end up? I'm trying to think now. Um, I don't need the ticket yet, do I? Oh, I'm going for it anyway, just in case. I don't think I need the ticket just yet, but we will go and get it just in case. So we come back up here, we throw it in the wrong one. Nothing happens. We throw it in this one. I'm going to assume we've got our platform ticket, which we do not need for a good while, but I'll take it just in case. I'm trying to remember the quickest way to go through the whole of this level because there's a lot of back and forth in this level. Right. So we need to go through that door. Again, if we don't run, you will die. So we need to run and jump down. If you try and get back up, <laughs> they're, they're very regular these trains. So if you jump back up and try and escape that way, you can't. Uh, the train comes and kills you. Um, I don't think there's anything over there. So we've got this room here. This is, oh my goodness, this level. This, I... I don't I don't hate any Tomb Raider level. I love every Tomb Raider level. Oh, to bring it out to uh, three, uh, four, five, and six remastered. How amazing is that? Um, can't wait. Oh, absolutely amazing. Although I I hate Angel of Darkness. It is awful. But I, I'm actually I might actually play it and re and record it actually because I played it once and sent it back to the shop. It was one of the few games I've ever sent back to the shop and got my money back it was so shite um so yeah the, the new remasters are coming um but I, I i love every level in the first five games but this is the level i love the least that's the best way to say it it's so i love getting lost in levels i love getting confused in levels i love no oh, let's go over there I don't know that I put anything in it actually. There's a little something over here. No, I'm putting it. In. <laughs> um, and this, but this is one of the levels you get absolutely lost in, confused. And uh, you see me at the very beginning, I'm still confused which one to go down. It is so. For, for anyone who's never played a Tomb Raider game, don't start on this one, on Tomb Raider 3. It's so frustrating. For anyone who gets frustrated, I don't get frustrated. I just love getting lost and wandering around. So here's my new, uh, my new monkey bar mechanism. Am I stuck anything in this one? No. Um, right, so here we go. Is this is pretty cool? This actually, for uh, it's the best I could do for square blocks. <laughs> it's a round drill, and obviously I'll I'll get myself killed. It, it does reset. So we've got crumbling blocks. Oh, I'm not going to get myself killed. Oh shit! I'll tell you what. I'll. Uh, oh, ah, there's a mistake. There's a there's a a bug. I right, found the bug anyway. Um, I'll have to remember that. It's not anything bad, though. Hopefully. So, it does start again. That drill does kill you. And the monkey bars. It resets.
right, I'll do it properly this time now. Yeah, a lot of the uh, a lot of the movements from the very beginning of this level, as I say, you just drop straight away and you're like, whoa, what do we do? And this is one of those place things where it's like, what, where, where do we go? What do we do? What do we? It's so. And then I've got to slide out a little bit and then come back in and then slide out a little bit and come back in and drop. And then we get our first, I hopefully, first secret. And we're safe down in our... We should go up. Right, I hope these are working. I was having loads of trouble. We've got some water here. Um, just in case. Well, you can't go and fire on on my Tomb Raider one. In, in Tomb Raider, you go and fire it on mine. You just die straight away. Because I can't really make your character go on fire. I'm sure there is a way, but... So we'll come up here. And let's just wait. Now, they should go off once I get up here. Yep, they go off. That's good. That's working. But we've got one more. Oh, no, don't tell me that one's not working. Is it? Ah. Oh. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna have to. We've still got the fire effect, but it's not working. Okay, there's another mistake. Well, that's one that's. Uh, I have to solve. Right, this is a lot of, as I said before, a lot of backwards and forwards. Just it's. Oh, that. This, it doesn't show you that in Tomb does it? Does it show you that in Tomb Raider? I can't remember. Um, but that's another secret. Yeah, there's a lot of backwards and forwards. There should be a flames coming out of here, like down there, but I can't. Yeah. I'm not going to start again. I'll just have to remember. Right. So now we've come back to this area again. Westbound. That's what it actually does say. Westbound arrival on in Tomb Raider. It doesn't say 17 minutes. I just thought oh, I'll fill it up with something. Westbound trains. Sorry, it says westbound trains, and then the arrival 17 minutes is something I've just put. Um, so again, we've got to go back down here. I've got to come down here about four, three or four times. There we go. Instead of going across the monkey bars, you jump up here. Now, there's the last secret, but it's like right at the end of the game and you've got to come all the way back. It's really like backwards and forwards, this game. Got a locked door there. What do we stand on here? Drop down here. Pull that block. That opens this. We'll put a light on in here. We've got my crawl mech mechanism. Get in there. And then when you come up here, that door automatically opens. Back into this room. I couldn't remember whether a train went past there or not. But I haven't put one.
it's quite dark this hallway we are we'll see it now what's going on right so we've got this area come down here we've got slopes and all the way round more slopes that we can't get up I'll show you this to, let's see if, I can, if I can remember the wrong way around actually um, yeah we'll do this one first I think is it that one or this one I think it's this one yeah All right, this is time so you've got to run just in time which leads you into this room but just done this to show you that you can't actually the monkey bars are flipped down so you actually can't get across to the other side and you can't get out the room so come this way slide down we'll go back to here so you open these doors first and to open oh run oh i'm gonna make it when we're coming to here we've got a button in that room and a trap door up there that we can't get through so that was the wrong room i knew it was the wrong room i'm just showing you so you've got to go in the end room first oh my running at it what oh yeah i've got a when you got two bread right Do you know what i'm gonna uh, oh didn't need to press that right so we've got to get to the very end room be careful of the puddle that slows you down. And here we have now the button, which now opens. The trap door in that room. Again, a lot of running around. I wonder when, I'm, when I'm, my character is going to stop running. I'm going to show when it. Uh, press that button again. Now we can get up here, which is where the monkey bar thing is. We can't get across there because we can't jump, and if we try and obviously we'll fall. But now we can get across, and also the monkey bar is in the right place. So we drop down here. Jump up here, monkey bar swing, and in here we've got nothing in that one. I could have give me, should have give myself more bread. We've got Solomon's key, one of two, which I've got to remember to go back for. Again, you've got to go. Back to that other place and to get out of here. There's two, there's two ways we can go. We go back through. Is that the quickest way, actually? Is that the best way to go? I think it is, actually, isn't it? But I'll do this because I need to open the door. I'll do this because we swim through here. I said it's near the end. It's more at the middle. More at the middle of the... But we're back into here again. So... Again, we've got to go back down here again. I think there's a we've got to do it once more for the for the final secret. 
Ah, stop running! Oh, no! I ran out of, I ran out of energy because of me. Oh, well, I've got, I've got full now. Ran out of energy. Woo! I've got to go back where the drill was because, as in the cutscene, there's a secret. Has appeared. Oh, it's not a secret, it's the other Solomon's key, actually. I always forget about this one. But I haven't today. There we go. It's very dark. Drop down, and we're back here again. For some reason, why that hasn't gone on, I don't know, but uh, we can drop down here. Right, that's that area done for now. We will we will appear up here, actually, later on. We, we, we managed to get through the other side of that door, that door that's shut. But we need to go... This way and um, so let me think. Yeah, we open that, so we need to go down here. We've got another vent that we can smash down the end here. Second secret. I always scared. You know what? I, I always scared that I'm never going to find them all in this level. Right. I'll just show you while the lights are on, <laughs> while the flares on. You can see the train. Oh, if you try and outrun it, no, you'll die. So, oh, let me think, do I need to go down there first? I'll show you, I'll show you this way. Yeah, I need to go down there first, I think. Use the Solomon's keys. We've got this way here. This little room. This jumps quite hard. But while I'm in the water, we've got a door there. That we need to open a bit later on. Oh, I hit the ladder. What an idiot. Uh, I think I might have made this jump a little bit too hard, but... <laughs> Come on. You can do it. There we go. We'll go under here. Again. Right, we've got the platform key, we may as well use it. And we've got this room here, which we can't actually go in just yet. We need a star for that. And the stuff down there, which... Oh, go on, I showed this bit, but... We need a hammer. So there, and then there's that area down there, which I won't show you just yet because I've already gone well out of my way and I'm trying to, supposed to be making this video as short as possible. I've already gone out of my way. But I just want to show you the areas that before you get to them to show that they all connect perfectly. What's in there? Oh, yeah, there's a chest with a respawn mechanism. So down this tunnel, I'll use my thing. There's three doors, one with red, green, and white. Our tra you've already seen the train comes. And in the game, a fella runs out of the one with the red light. 
and runs into the next one. And if you don't get there in time, he shuts the door, you get hit by the train. So you think you can get in the red one and you can't. The red one is like, get shut on you. Just like in Tomb Raider. So you've got to go for the green one. Which the fella runs into. So if you keep running. You just make it. Door shuts. Press that. And that opens both these doors. I think there's something in here. Well there should be something in there. And we come into this area. I don't think the train comes now. I don't think I've made a train to come and hit you once you've done that. Now this area is it's like a maze with doors and it's a it's a pain. <laughs> it's a pain to get through. But I know the sequence to get through the simplest way to get through. So there's, there's like three patterns on the doors. This is the best way I could do it, is the that circular pattern, the square pattern, and then there's the, just the um, plain pattern like that and each button does a certain thing but it's very confusing some don't seem to work when like this one's supposed to do all three but it doesn't and it's a bit confusing really it's not really a very well worked out puzzle but this is the easiest way to get through it Um. I've forgotten. It's not long since I played it. It's that one, then it's that one. See, that doesn't shut them, but it doesn't in the game. We've got something there which we haven't got. But it opens. Oh, yeah, now, now I need to do that again to get through it. Uh, hopefully, this is it. I say th these are all be like uh, ammunition and health packs, but because I haven't got no actual enemies in it, it, I haven't really filled them up. But when I do get around to stick enemies in them, eventually I will. I said I don't want to go in this room yet until the flare runs out because it's got a nice effect to it. When it's dead bright, it looks. Uh, it's supposed to be like uh, a Masonic, like, lodge thing, like a Masonic area for the Masons. Very spooky place. I've got me flickering effect there like that. So in here, there's a moon that spins around. Spooky moon. It's supposed to be yellow, the moon, like, but I haven't got blocks, uh, like gold, I think it is, or something, or silver, I'm not sure. We've got a spin, and then we've got this, like, seating area here, with, like, a couple of posh seat, seating area with candles and Masonic y scary stuff. Um, and also, we've got traps with spikes that kill you. We've got a few of them around so I remember not to stay stood on them. There's a door. We've got another trap there but there's nothing in this one. It's just there. Uh, it's safe that one. Is this like the Masonic Lodge area? And we've got our keys. And our second key. Opens the doors. And we've got to be careful here. We have got spikes down there. And here we've got the hammer, Masonic mallet. Now we can just uh, get back across here. We should be okay. Now here we have the secret. Now I did have a painting, one of these paintings here. 
but it's not in in Tomb Raider. It's just a wall. It just looks like all the other walls. And because I know how to use the command blocks now, I've made it so it is just like the other walls. But now you can fall through it. Just like in Tomb Raider, it just looks like there's nothing in this. We've got the ornate star that we need for that door. Let me just jump back through. I only I only done that the other day. It was a picture until like last week. It was a picture there because you can walk through pictures. But I know how to teleport through walls and stuff now. So, yep. So we've got a mallet and a ornate star. This door opens. There's a see the spinning moon. Sonic Moon. Oh, we come swimming down here. And this is the door to show before under the water, which will automatically open when she reaches it. And we're back to this jump again. Great. So back here again. So we need to do this jump again. First goal. Even monkey bar while she's got an ornate star in her hand. Through the turnstiles, and we'll cheat by going around these turnstiles. Tickets office there, look. Throw the ornate star in there. Now it, it tingles for the secret there, but that's not where the secret is. Secret is down here. A third secret. The door automatically opens. And we're back here again. So I say there's a lot of back and forth in this, just like through the same areas three, four, five times. So now we can go this way. We've got a Masonic Mallet, which if we... This takes a while, actually. For some reason, this mallet's not very good at breaking. go eventually <laughs> and in here we've got I'll put the light on let me flare got a button let's go to a cutscene which is a place we haven't even been yet so it shows you somewhere where you haven't even been but also we do have our fourth secret now this is where we go down here now door automatically opens and we're back here again so we're back to this station again which is a shortcut back but we need to go this way I don't think I put anything in that either oh look at that I have we'll be in that train in a few set in a, in a couple of minutes there is a close-up of my old witch sign. I'll show you that as well at the end. The uh, my pixel art area. A little bonfire, like in the game. And up here, there's a little area. It's not a secret, but I'm surprised it's not a secret, actually. But there's probably... Oh, that's good. 
need bread if I don't die. But saying that, I do die on purpose, so yeah, I do get my energy back. To show you that things kill you, so I, I get my energy back, not too bad. So yeah, this is the train that I'm supposed to be getting in now. It's not that train. The train that you do get in is a different train to that, but it's supposed to be that train. It's a bit of a uh, a bit of a trick. I got a trap door up there. So here's the train here that we've just seen outside, even though it's not, it's a completely different built thing. Now we need to move the train to the next station. So this is obviously the button to move the train, <laughs> just like a rail train. Oh, I'll tell you what I've done there. I've just teleported to another train. You can't tell. You can't tell because I've made it shake like a train's moving. I'm really shaking. You can't tell that I've actually teleported to to a, a train that looks exactly the same in a different part of the. It's right underneath actually, and I'll show you that after the after I've done this. Um, right. So this is the area where. A guy comes running out, a bit like the train track one. He comes running out, but if you kill him, you can't... I think if you kill him, you can't get the last secret if you kill him. You need to let him run round the corner and open the door. Otherwise, you will not get the last secret. Um, that is the end of the level. But to get the last secret... So the guy comes running out of one of them. He runs round here. And he opens this door here, and another guy comes out and starts killing you. But if you kill him, this door will not open, and you can't press these buttons. Which, this one... Again, I've got to go all the way back to there. And this one opens the trap door to get back in that train. So again, that's that area there. I don't want to slide down there, because it'll be the end of the level. This way. Back into the train again. Yeah, watch. See if you can see it teleport. Oh. Why is that? Seamless, isn't it? Didn't even look like I went anywhere. Let's get through here. In fact, I think that's one of the first times I've ever used the teleport in any of my levels because it's pretty impossible for me to make that train move. I think that's the first time because all my levels like all connect perfectly, just like in Tomb Raider. Got a fight there then. Um, so I've never had to use teleport because I never knew you could do it in PS PlayStation version anyway. Oh, I had to make that go down a bit, so this train's a little bit rubbish, actually. It comes upon you very quickly. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, what an idiot. How come that... It, I didn't... Oh, because it already... That's weird, it didn't teleport me to that. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so... Yeah. Let's go back down here. We get the train again. We need to go to, yeah, back down here for about the fourth, fifth, sixth, I don't know how many times. Is that down there? No. Yeah. Up here, back up this way. 
And then we get our final secret. Ooh. I hope that's all that is, five. And we need to press our button to get back. To open that for the train again. Um, uh, which is the quickest way? Oh, I can't get back that way, can I? No, I've got to go this way. The train will kill me. Back through this area again. Ah, oh, which way was it? It's yeah, it is this way, and over the yeah, over the bridge. Over that bridge. <laughs> Sorry, what about the sixth time? Down to here. Let's see if we can see me teleport. That shuts. Let's see. No, don't think you could. Drop down here. Let's put some light on. And this is it. That's the level. We'll go around this way. Don't know why. Like what? I don't know whether I've got it. Uh, I've put a. I think I have put a bottom to this actually. I think I'll slip. There we go. Oh! Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? Oh, oh, oh dear. Well, that shouldn't have killed me. So, what I'll do, because it's the end of the level anyway, um, I will go back into creative so I don't die, but down here. Oh, I teleport. That's right. As you fall, I teleport you to here. That's another. Te that's another teleport. Uh, second time I've used the teleport, and we've got a green light thing again. Let's see if I've got enough. Oh, is that not connected? Oh no, because normally I, oh, I haven't got that connected. Um, yeah. So down there, I don't know whether to give it a sneak peek. Ah. Oh. Down there, it's cool. It's it's the room with the fella with with the fella with the like scarred face who wants the stuff. Now I'm gonna I'll save that. I'll save that. I don't want to show you that. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, you'll have to wait for the next video to see down there. And that's the that's the back end of a taxi, a black black hackney cab in London. That's a seat, right? Um, so I'll show you um, me. See, th th this is that's the next level. So I teleported from all the way over there to here. Um, I'll show you me uh, two trains that I teleport from. And the, probably the reason why you can't see it is because they're right underneath each other. So I've got one train here, and then right above here is the other train that look exactly the same. And you can't tell you're getting teleported because it's so close. When you teleport a far distance, then the graphics sort of glitch out. But am I in, yeah, I'm in the top one now. I think it should work. No, maybe the bottom one. Yeah, The bottom one was the last one I was in, wasn't it, I think?
Oh no, they're both, both not working because yeah, they're not finished. Anyway, yeah, so that's me teleport from one to the other to make it look like the train's moved or feel like the train's moved. You don't actually see it move. Um, I'll show you me pixel art, which is the best way to do it is. Let's go to yeah, Lara's Mansion. There's Lara's Mansion there. In fact, you know what? I'll give it a very quick, because I've got all this new furniture now and all these new fences and stuff. I've got an actual proper clock instead of just gold blocks. I've got the proper lighting, proper seats and tables instead of just blocks. Proper fridge, <laughs> microwave. It's one of the add-on packs, and it gives you all the extra, like, proper stuff. Proper sinks, look at that. So, yeah, I've got proper, like... Not all furniture's pro. Oh yeah, I've stuck this over here instead of like, uh, is it a record player or something? Radio or something, so I've stuck that there. Uh, yeah, so I've got all like, uh, proper lighting. Is there anything in oh yeah, and the proper piano as well. I, I used to have just like black slabs for the piano. I need a harp. I need a harp though. I did just have fencing as a harp. And it had black slabs as a piano, but the, the pack I got has got actual, an actual piano in it. So now I've got an actual piano in Lara's room, which is cool. So yeah, that's uh, Lara's house. Let's break the wind there. Let's break out. Um, and we go to pixel art, which I'm not sure what's on it actually at the moment. Oh yeah, there we go. This is me pixel art. You have to make a huge, massive drawer and like that. And then when you pick up a map, if I go to when you pick up a map and look at it, it puts it onto the uh, onto the map, and then you can put that on a picture frame. You stick that on a picture frame, and then it looks like a sign. This is where I've done my mud as well. For that's how I've done my mud. My mud is just like pixel art as well, so it looks like you're sinking into mud. And then if we put that on two, <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant to do. If you put it on like that, then you get the Elwich sign. And I've got all these. So that's the Elwich sign. That's just the large circle. And that, that changes the whole map thing up there. I've got, uh, the, oh, yeah, this is the, uh, that's that pixel art of my new mechanism for the secrets just a huge massive thing uh, yeah that, is that that one all lights off pixel art sink and sand yeah that's me sink and sand thing this one sink and sand darker version You've got these the eyes that I use for me Shiva, even though I've called it a shivra. It's just a shiva, I think, isn't it? They're the eyes. That's them huge up there. Uh, that's just dirt. These are just all the base colours for the background. So I can have white, grey, white, that's this black, dirt, and it just changes the whole lot. And that's it, that's my pixel art. There you go, and that's how I made me sign. It takes a while to uh, <laughs> to place all the blocks for that. The background's not too bad because I can just 
put any background I want dead quick by pressing them buttons. Look at that, 55 minutes. Me, me time has come up on me thing. 55 minute video. I'm so sorry. That is like ridiculous. But yeah, let's go back to uh, teleport back to Lana's mansion. Let's go to Lub's gate. I keep calling it Lub. I know it's Lud. I know it's Lud's gate, and I just keep calling it Lub. Lub's gate. It's Lud's gate. So yeah, this will be the next one. It's pretty much finished. I think. I think it's it's pretty much finished. So hopefully this won't be as long again. Hopefully I don't get man flu and <laughs> again. So. Yeah, that'll be the next one. It shouldn't be too long because I am sure it's pretty much done. But I'll have to play through it a few times. I need to play through. Oh, no, it's not done. This is... Is this? No, this hasn't been done. Oh, no, actually, no, I have finished that. This is just a, a separate save. So I think I have finished this bit off, actually. I think I have, yeah. I think I've finished that bit off. Okay. So I'm sorry that was such a long video. That's taking an hour out of your life. I'm so sorry. I wish I could give you the hour back. <laughs> um, but again, if you've made it to this part, I'm sorry. And thank you for watching this far. Um, Lud's, Lud's Gate will be up hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So again, thanks for watching. And goodbye.